Hello folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Fisherman Fishing Planet. Now this just got released today, 17th of October over on Steam. I'm sure it was going to release the other day on the consoles, PS4 and Xbox, I think. I'm sure I read that somewhere. <clears throat> but if you're thinking to yourself, Fishing Planet, I've played that before, it's been out for years. It first came out in, I think it was the end of 2015, it came into early access. I think I started playing in November 2015, if I remember right. I had a quick look at my profile earlier on... Fishing Planet, and I'm sure it was November 2015. I've been playing it since. Um, I mean, on Fishing Planet, I'm level 50. I've got all the gear, got everything, got tons of money. So why do I want to play this? Because there's no microtransactions. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to pick my character. You know what? I think I'll go a woman. Let's go a woman, shall we? What a female. Nice blonde. There we go. Pants. We'll put the old blue jeans on, I think, shall we? And let's just finish that. Okay, we're playing 1920 by 1080 graphics. Beautiful, fantastic. There we go. Now the music might be loud when this first starts, so I'm going to probably have to jump into options and turn a few things up and down and stuff like that once it gets started. Once it gets started, come on. Okay. Bear with me. Are you sure you want a quick game? No, I want to go with options. So it's not letting me. I'm going to have to do the tutorial first. But good thing is, there's no music. W, A, S, and D. Okay, make your first cast. Aim at the ring. Click the left mouse button. Okay, wait for a fish to bite. This might take a while. Okay, little blue goat. Uh, it looks like we have to release it. Uh, mind you, but I've got to keep that yet. So, yep, yeah, that's probably why we have to release it. Okay, make a few casts and catch some more fish. Yeah, so basically I've been playing uh, <coughs> the free-to-play version since 2015. And one of the biggest things that annoyed me in there was the economy of the game. The advanced licenses, the travel expenses. Uh, if you wanted to go, say, three days... I don't know, say Alaska or even Whipping Willow. I mean, oops. Whipping Willow. Oh, thought I'd missed that. Whipping Willow, if I remember right, it's 12,000 a day. Uh, 12,000 to travel there and 8,000 a day um, advanced license. So you're talking, if you're going for three days, you're talking that's nearly 30 grand. So your first day, you're sort of just recuperating the money that you spent on the bait travel expenses and the license but they've done away with all that now um, well not, i wouldn't say they've not done away with it but they've reduced the license fees they've reduced the travel and now you can actually buy the advanced licenses with real in-game cash uh, in-game cash not real cash like you did on the free play version okay time for a real catch open the inventory and change your bait for a bigger fish Okay, so click the red worms. Go to the shop. Choose tools and equipment. And buy the Fish Hut XS. Okay, we're all set here. Now open the lake map. I can't remember these um, tutorials. I'll tell you what. Oh, I still can't go with the options. I've got to finish this off first. Okay, select another fishing spot. Let's go over to here and hit go fishing. Okay, go in the middle of the bridge, WASD. Yeah, as I was saying, they reduced the prices on quite a lot of the stuff in the shops from what I've seen in some of the other videos. And uh, the, the travel expenses and the licenses. Cast your bait out near the lily pads. It's this side, isn't it? Yep. Okay, the float was on its side. Bait hit the bomb, reel the bait in. Okay, decrease the line leader to 19 inches. So you've got O and P, uh, O drops it, P takes it back up, but it's only letting me drop it. So 19 inches, that's 18, it says 19. Okay, cast your bait to the lily pads into the ring. Now 
Now for me, this is probably the best fishing game out there. <clears throat> I've, I've got quite a few of them. I've played Russian Fishing 4, I've got Ultimate Fishing, I've got Fishing Planet. Uh, can't remember. Oh, I've got two other ones, I can't remember the names right off the top of my head. But for me, this was the best one out of a lot of them. When it first came out on the early access, I, I thought it was great. You were getting cool gold coins off the unique fish and things like that. And it was quite easy, the, um, the economy, to sort of keep yourself going. But they kind of changed. Make sure it's not going to tell me anything else. They kind of changed the economy. I think it might have been what 2017 or something like that. <clears throat> and I kind of stopped playing it for quite a while. Okay, must have hit level two. Yep, level two. 1500 cash, one bait coin. Got a couple of hooks, new reel. Yeah, got the hop gear rod case there, the overflow, and some line, and another. Windcast 1500 and the fish shot S has just been put in the shop as well. Okay, open the lake map to continue. You can leave the lake now and go home like a real winner. This was one good fishing day. Check out your results and rewards. Okay, 184 and 82 XP. And we've got an achievement as well, tight lines. Do you know, on my original the free to play version, I still had the tight lines tutorial even though i'm level 50 i've never completed it <laughs> oh and because i um, pre-ordered it i've got these packs here i've got the predator boat pack and i'm sure i've got another one i must have missed that when it first came up okay new mission lone star trip lone star lake welcomes you with its air of peace and tranquility anytime let's head over there right now to learn and master the game of basics of fishing okay lone star lake now come again the options are ah, here we go let's turn this music down shall we can I slide it yep there we go keep it on five percent and heaven now should be okay i reckon oh let's turn the, the float fishing bite sound on as well that's when you get the little ding on your bobber or float. They actually call it a float here. Everybody I know calls it a bobber. <coughs> in the UK it's a float. In America they call it the bobber. Okay, now I think that's everything. I know there was one other thing I wanted to change the game. I wanted to put this on pro. On the simple, you've just got the one line here. You've got your line, your rod, and your reel. It tells you how much um, tension and things that are getting put on it. I like going with the pro version so they're actually split up so you can actually see exactly what your line is hitting, what your reel's hitting, and what your rod's hitting. Now we'll keep it on Imperial and everything else. It's good to go. Oh, let's get that back there. And I want to put the, let's put the flow on a big so you can see it. It's not so bad when you're first starting off because you're not casting that far, but when you're on the sort of going for the bigger fish and the higher levels and stuff like that, you're actually casting out quite far. And if you're using a float, it's pretty hard to see. So let's go to the global map. Uh, select the Lone Star Lake, pin on the global map. Here we go. Okay, no travel cost. Now, what's we've got to catch? I'm sure it's like ready a sunfish or something we've got to catch here. Okay, press go fishing to enter the location. I'll tell you what, we'll actually put this into a private room. Okay, challenge complete Lone Star Ranger 1. Enjoy exploring Lone Star Lake and its premises for a certain number of days to complete this challenge. Now, I'm sure if I remember right, <coughs> you got a five day, a one day challenge as soon as you get there, a five day challenge and a 30 day challenge. Okay, that's your keyboard layout. I'll leave that there for a couple of seconds. Let you have a little quick look at it, or you can pause the video and oh, let's get started, shall we? So let's head over to here. Oh, no, nope. got to go here. Okay, come closer to the mark near the bridge. Now with this, as you see, that's me just um, with W. If you hit shift, like most games, you will speed up a little bit here. Okay, so it looks like we're going this way. Find a good place to the right of the bridge. If you wish you can turn off mission hints, do this, press escape, go to the missions tab and select on track mission. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is a mission. I'm not sure if this is part of the mission or tutorial, but 
you hit escape here and you go to missions. These, uh, yeah, this is just a tutorial, so we'll have to finish it. Once this is finished, you probably get quite a few missions here. You don't have to do them. You can play the game any way you like. But the missions give you some bait coins, some nice XP and things like that. And also you'll, you'll get the odd bit of bait and things like that off them as well. I'm going to have to drop that volume down a little bit as well because that is quite high. Okay, mission accomplished. Lone Star Trip. Awesome. Now you know the basics of moving around and navigating a waterway. You will definitely need these skills throughout the rest of the game. Okay, we've actually got the advanced Texas license out as well. So we never have to pay a license fee when we come back to Texas. And we've got one bait coin. Okay, new mission, perfect time. Fish activity usually depends depends on the weather and time of the day. Study the weather forecast and bite charts and learn to use the fast forward time function to ensure the best possible fish conditions. The higher the curve chart, the more active the fish will be at that time. Okay, so we're 220 of that, another bait coin, and we got some crickets. Okay, let's check the weather forecast. As you can see here, the higher the peak, the better fishing, the better fishing time it is. So basically from five to seven AM is pretty good, and then from say about six to eight, nine PM. So higher graph means better bites. Look at the diagram and return to the shore. Okay. Okay, press T. Now this is one of the the things I like now the Don and Fisherman <coughs> Fisher Planet. <coughs> I'm getting mixed up there. Fisherman Fisher Planet. This one is a forward time. Uh, in the free play game, you forward time, but the next time you got a forward time, unless you're a premium, you have to wait, I think it's 30 minutes. And then you can forward time again. But if you want to do it within that 30 minutes, you have to pay one bait coin. They've got rid of that for this now. So for the time 6 a.m. It was already just gone 5 a.m. as you see up there, 507. So you don't have to put it forward at any time at all. Down at 6 a.m. and we'll forward that. Okay. Okay, catch ready here. Different lures attract fish in different ways. Try using crickets to catch a readier sunfish that has a particular taste for insect and baits. These fish go out to feed closer to shore near the lily pads. You will need a keep net to keep your catch and sell it at the end of the day. Okay, hold Z. Now this is a thing they brought in quite a while ago. This, this was brilliant. This is to just change your bait, bait over. I don't know what it is on the, the, the controllers, but uh, you just hold Z down, Z down and then just flip with your mouse button and there we go red worms i don't know it's crickets we want in it we already had bloody red worms <laughs> there we go crickets we'll catch the little readier sunfish here okay watch the float indicator as you wait for i'm quite glad they've changed the word on that though they've actually changed the float instead of bother so when I first started playing this, I think it was probably the first fishing game I ever played, and I was like, what the hell's a bobber? Because I'm so used to saying float. Okay. Nice little reddier sunfish there. Look at that. Cute little fish. Must admit that the physics and the mechanics and all that in this game I really, really like. Okay, we'll keep that. Okay. Okay, wow, get stuff thrown at us here. Congrats, you did well, but don't stop now. There's still so much more to learn to make your fishing experience more interesting. So another 220 there and a one or more bait coin. Okay, first five. Have to check how well you mastered these new skills. Go and catch five fish of any kind in the spots you already know. The reward you'll get at the end of the day for the fish you catch will provide you with more resources for future travel and a new tackle. So we'll catch five more fish and we'll get some dough balls, another bait coin, and some more cash. So we'll just we'll just keep it here. Let's just throw it over by the lily pads. Okay, zoom in. Ah look, they've changed it there to the bobber. So they're they're, changing, they're keeping the they're, they're using the float and bobber. Zoom into the bobber by Z when tackle is in the water. Okay, you get a few little nibbles out, and you hear the little ding there. That's that thing I've turned on in the, the options menu. Okay, little bluegill. You'll find more fish near water lilies and vegetation, in, or in underwater holes at the bottom. Okay, four more fish to catch. Uh, 
There you go, you get the little ding again. Come on, fish. Take it, take it. There we go. Okay, another little red here. Don't forget to check, what was that? Okay, Lucky Bobber. Perform a certain number of successful strikes in a row. And another gold bait coin now. Okay, level three, 1500 and another bait coin. Okay, we've got the value spin 63, uh, 63 there. Mini spin 1200. More line, a couple of casting spins, some different, some different baits. We've got some jigs as well. A nice camel vest. We'll be able to carry more lines and stuff with us. We've got a triple case. We've got the old chubby there as well. Ah, the elemental and the value cast and another fish hut and the Greek, the Creek Pro 710, which is your bottom fishing. And so we've got quite a lot of stuff there. Wow. Quite a lot of stuff unlocked that. Lone Star Exploration completed at two of eight. Okay, only three more fish to go. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long time since I started playing this game. <clears throat> and I really can't remember doing all these tutorials. Like I said, I still had the, the Tight Lines tutorial still in my um, my main account on the free-to-play version. Which is weird. I mustn't have went through the tutorial. <laughs> but as I said, once you finish the tutorial, guys, you don't have to do the missions. But uh, I'd say if you're a new player, I would do them. Just to get used to the mechanics and things like that. And the different types of fish. Okay, come on. Okay, with this new game, well, I wouldn't say new game, new re released a version of the game. We've got a new lake, which is in France. France, uh, cruise something. We'll have a look once we finish here and we go on to the main map. Keep that as well. And there's four more fish species and we've also got a trolling technique on the, the boats. Pretty similar, I'd imagine, to what they had in Russian Fishing 4. Now that was a really good game, I really enjoyed Russian Fishing 4, but the grind, the grind was a killer, the economy was a killer, the repairs, bloody hell, the repairs were a killer, they really needed to change quite a lot. Like, I mean, I know these games are, are free to play, and I don't mind paying a bit of money to help the devs if I like to enjoy the game, but some of these games, the, the monetization they do is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so we've got there, we've got 330 cash, now missions. First five, I think they're all done. Now it's telling me to go to the local map. There we go, mission accomplished. First five, well done. Looks like fish already see you as a worthy opponent. Time to take on another challenge and head over to a new unexplored waterways. Okay, assemble the sinker rig. Let's assemble the tackle for bottom fishing on asset. No, 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 this isn't it. This is the other one. Cruise, I was thinking, is a French one. Lesney Villa Fishery, that is Czech Republic, if I remember right. Always remember to upgrade your keep net to have more room for fish storage and make your fishing trips more profitable. You can sell your catch only at the end of the day or when you leave the waterway. Keep in mind that you can switch your keep net only in the menu of the global map. Okay, let's leave here and we'll buy ourselves a new net. Okay, Lucky Bobber and a Lone Star Ranger 1. Okay, shop now it's going to tell us to buy things here. Here we go. Triple case. 2240. Level 3. So we bought that. Okay, inventory. Okay, buy the Creek Pro 710. 1,940 cash for that. As you see, uh, Flagman introduces a new line of picker feeder rods. That is marvelously designed for fishing with small unleaded feeders by method of short range casting in rivers with slow current and silent waters. 
Okay, you can get the good, you get a 3D look at the thing as well. I'm sure, I'm sure you could. Ah, it's the right button you need to rotate. That's it. Doesn't rotate much though, does it? Bloody hell, that's it. That's all it does. There to there. <laughs> Can't click on them. So, there. Okay, we bought that. I thought we already bought it. No. Okay, let's buy that. Okay, buy the mini spin 1200. Spinning reels. 650 cash for that. Okay, now we need to go and buy some line. It's telling us to buy some mono line. And we need to buy the license to kill. The 007, which is a 120. And that's a three pound test on that. <laughs> okay, you purchased the mono. Okay. What was it telling me to do? Oh, leaders, yeah. We need to buy a leader as well. And it's 2.6 pound a leader. Uh, I just get us to buy everything. We're going to have to buy the sinker, the hook, the lot, the bait, I'd imagine as well. Okay, sinkers. Buy a half ounce sinker. Terminal tackle hooks. Buy hook number six. And baits. Pearl barley. Pearl barley is quite a good bait, actually. Not too bad. Back to the inventory. Got rod number two. Put the mini spin on. Put. 007 mono line on cut to 262. Uh, we haven't got a feeder basket, so you put the sinker on that and the mono leader and the hook and the bait. Okay, the terminal tackle weight is optimal. Wonderful, these fishing weapons will help you find and catch coarse fish at the new fishing destination. New mission. To Lenzi Villa. Lenzi Villa is a great place to start fishing with bottom tackle, especially for beginners. Keep in mind that the trip and the stay will both cost you some money, but it'll be worth it, as there is considerably more fish to catch. Okay, first what I want to do here is, since you're setting up a, a picker or a feeder rod, you want to go back to your shop here, go to your terminal tackle, and go to common bells, and just buy the simple bell at level 3. Now, Put it on to the rod. It's just when you're using the um, the feeder rods, if you even if you've not got them in like a, a rod holder with the alarm bites, it's pretty hard to see. Even though it's got a bit of a, it's got the quiver tips on it, it is better with the bell on it, so you can actually hear when you're you're getting a little nibbles. Okay, so where we're going here? Oh, for Telesny. That's what I wanted to check. Now, yeah, look at the difference. Uh, I'm sure the travel cost in the free to play version of Weeping Willow was 12,000 per day and then you get your 2,000 your 12,000 to travel there but it's uh, 2,000 a day after that so that is poof, that is under half that is and what's the licenses let's have a look oh you can't have a look yet okay so let's go back to the map yeah, I'm gonna have to travel here yeah, that's a big difference. That is well under half. Okay, buy a license. I never understood why they put a basic license in. I don't know who the hell has ever bought a basic license because I never have. Okay, let's buy that. 500. You have purchased the advanced check license. So that is it. That's bought. It's done. I never have to buy another license for um, this fishery, which is absolutely brilliant. As you see, unlimited. So, I mean, if you look at this, this one here, you know, can I look at the license again? No, it's not telling me that I can buy it. It's probably because I'm not to the right level. But I was going to see the difference in prices there. Okay, let's travel here. Okay. Okay, press coefficient to enter the location. We'll put it back into a private room. And as you see, best time of the day, five o'clock till about <clears throat> 8 a.m. So we've got quite a few hours to fish here. We did. Did we buy the other key? Now? Oh, crap. Do you know what? I didn't think I put it on, did I? Damn. Okay, new mission fishing with a sinker. A sinker fishing rig is great to catch fish near the bottom. Pearl Valley is a good choice for attracting coarse fish. All you need is to cast 
to the right spot and wait for the bike. Okay, let's go. So this is still, I think, tutorial. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're still in the tutorial here. It looks like we're going to have to do a, a spin setup tutorial as well. Okay, so basically that's what you're aiming for here. So right click on your mouse if you're playing on PC and then just aim with your mouse to get it in at the center of the circle. Left click and you'll see the bar going up and click once it hits the center of that white bar there. And that's you pretty bang on. <coughs> C to clip the line. So every time you cast, it's only going to cast 116. Okay, hold right mouse button and shift to reel in. So they want me to reel it straight back in. Now there you go, that's the bell. You hear the bell jingling there? Oh, we actually caught one as well. Nice. He was just telling me to reel it in. Okay, let's up the... Traction a little bit on the reel there. As you do, if you heard that clicking, clicking, click there, that's if you look at the the little line, what is it, down here. There you go. That's your reel. And this is your tension. One, two, three, four, five, six tension settings on it. Now I put it up to the fourth one because you kept getting that little sort of click. It was just taking line. Okay, a pushing carp. Okay, again, right mouse button. Oh, well, now at the level four. What did we unlock this time? Grasshoppers, Inspire cast, pet foods, couple of shads. Oh, got nice, nice elemental. Telefloat that. Some more lines, quite a few new. And another. Gonna have to get that. Fish hut M. Okay. As you see, I've clipped that 116, so that should just drop bang on in there all the time now. Okay, wait for the sinker to drop down the bottom. There's your sinker. You just seen it there. That's your quiver tip. Track the quiver tip indicator to, to wait for the bite. You see it just moving now? There we go. Now, as you can hear that click, click, click again. I might be able to get away with another one. Let's have a look. <coughs> see how high this bar to the left goes up. Oh, I've already got it on four. One, two, three, four. I've got it on four. Why does it tell me to put it up one more? Ah, there we go. Okay, nice little silver beam that. Okay, zoom in on the quiver tip when the tackle was in the water. I've always found that a little bit hard to just sit and watch the, the quiver tip. Basically what I would do is I'd, I'd watch this, this here, or I put a bell on and you just see it. You'll be able to see the fish taking it. Just take up some of the slack there. I'm getting some bites. Yeah, I'm on. Ish. It's another little tip as well that um, KP Shimino come out with. Uh, I've seen it before, but I've never really used it. It's when you clip a line. As you see here, it's 116 feet. That's where the line's clipped to. You've got 260 feet, which is the, the amount of line you got on the reel. And uh, when you're playing with um, a clipped line, if the fish starts biting, as soon as that hits there, 262, do you see it? As soon as that hits 262, I was a bit too slow there. Uh, if you strike, you will be able to catch the fish. So let's reel this back in and we will recast. Okay, so this is a lot shorter than 116 by the looks of it. Okay, 105. Clip the line, the unclip it with C and clip it. Okay, zoom in. Now again, right here, as soon as that 
105 turns to 262, then you, you should be able to strike and catch the fish. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, another little push and cop. Okay, one more fish to catch here. Yeah? Basically, with this game as well, what I would say, would I recommend it? Yeah, I would, especially if you're new to the game and you don't want to deal with all the microtransactions and all that as well. And if you are new to the game, what you want to do is actually go and play the free version first, play it for a couple of hours a day or so, see if you like it, see if you like the mechanics, the physics and things like that the way it looks and see how it runs on your PC or whatever. And if you do enjoy the free to play version, then I would suggest again this version. Like me, I mean, I was level 50 in the free to play version. I've been level 50 quite some time now. I've, I must have bought about 15 DLCs. I've got oh, 1.5 million, 1.6 million in cash. I've got over a thousand bait coins. So there's, there's nothing in that game that I want. There's nothing in that game that I really have to grind for. There's nothing in the game that I can't buy. Um, so basically, I was just enjoying the game, but it's the travel expenses and the advanced licenses, which was really pissing me off. I used to love the game when you used to get the, the gold coins off the unique fish and all that, and then they changed all that as well. And I just thought the, the, um, the economy went to pot after phew, a year or two uh, into early access. And I actually, as I said, I stopped playing it and started playing Russian Fishing 4. But the grind got to me on that game, so I came back to Fishing Planet, and the, the game really is good. <clears throat> but there's one thing that stopped a few of my friends from playing, which was the economy. But now that they've changed the economy in this paid-to-play version, oh look, we actually got the advanced check license as well. Nice. Okay, assemble spinning setup. When you make a purchase, the item automatically goes to your backpack. As long as there's enough space in your backpack, it's full. As long as there is enough space. Sorry about that. If your backpack is full, the purchase item will go to your home storage. Try moving the items from your home storage to your backpack and learn to equip tackle in the correct order. Okay, so it looks like we need to go back to the global map here. So what I'll do, I'll probably just set up the spin setup and we'll probably finish it after that. I'll probably level up a few more times and I'll, I'll probably do a few more videos on this because it is a really good game. I really enjoy it. Okay, now what do we want here? I want to put on a uh, number three. Okay, equip the elemental six, seven. So rods. Let's buy that. Uh, what else? I'm going to have to buy a new reel. The Inspire Cast 2000. Also, that's got a 3.5 pound max drag on it. And what am I going to buy now? Okay, let's put it on there. Let's actually put it in there for me. That's good. Okay, that. Let's put the mono on 007. Cut that up to that. Now we're going to have to go back to the shop. Buy a casting spoon. Okay, casting spoon of one six ounce. Number two hook. Let's take that. Okay, back to the inventory. Back to rod number three. Let's put the casting spoon on. Okay, we'll assemble a spin rig. We've got another uh, bait coin for that and a 420 cash. <coughs> okay, we've got another new mission. A mud water river is the next destination on our list. This place is perfect for beginner anglers. Keep in mind that the trip and the stay will cost both cost you some money, but it's worth it as a considerable more fish to catch. Okay, there you go. We're still in the tutorial, the mud water here. So we need to go to all the way back to the Americas. Here we are, mud water. Gonna have to buy the license. And that's only gonna cost us 750. Okay, now, oh, oh. Got one thing, uh, do, do, do. inventory. Let me think now. I put them, um, as you see, I bought them two packs 
uh, the pre-order pack. So this is what they're, they're offering from the, the Loki, the trophy spin, spin command when the Thunderwind, the Gorilla Cast and the Prize Caster. It's got quite a few more reels there as well. That's not bad. Quite a lot of line. Nice. A lot of crankbaits. Ah, good. Some nice spoons in that as well. Now, need to go to inventory. Click on the little man there, and we'll be able to change this over. So what have we got here? Max single fish weight, 100, £165.440. Bloody hell. Oh, this must have come with a pack. So I was thinking, how the hell is that so heavy? <laughs> so I've got two of them, 440. Yeah, not bad, eh? Now, what do I get if I sell them? Look at that. I've got 226 bait coins because I've already got, I've got two of them. They're the exact same, so I might as well just sell one. And we'll also get the motor boat as well. Now, let's start putting these on. So I'm with the Trophy Master jacket. you got 10 tackles, two lines. And what's this one? 15 lines, two material. Yeah, I might go with that one, actually. That's pretty cool, that one. Let's put the hat on. Uh, da, da, da. We've got two rod case here. Let's take that one instead of that one. This looks a little bit better. We'll put the big net on, but that might cost me a fortune in repairs actually. So I don't know whether just to go to a smaller net because we're only doing pan fishing at the moment. We're only catching like red eels and crappies and things like that. So I do not need a 440 pound keep net. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the shop. Tools and equipment, keep net. Now, what level are we? We're level four. This is a 15 pounder, I think. That's only 640. So we'll take that. So I'm not going to put a 440 pound keep net on because it's going to cost, as I said, it'll, I mean, I don't know how the repair costs work in this version of the game, but I still imagine that they're still there. But in the original game, it costs a bloody fortune. Is that the one? Have I got that one on? Let me have a look. One pound, six pound, one sixty-five pound. Where is it? Is it in inventory? I thought it was fifteen pound. Have a look. One sixty-five, one sixty-five. That one I just bought there. Have a look. Level four. It says fifteen pound in my house total fish oh no what am i saying oh, bleh. one idiot max single fish 6.5 pound total fish weight is 15 pound and it's the fish hut m that's it there. i was just reading the top line i just seen weight 6.5 it's not total weight is 15 pounds so it was the right one now okay i think we've got everything because we're just going to do a little bit of spin fishing we don't need a rod holder at the moment it's still the tutorial Okay, let's go. As you see, it's almost 600 travel cost. That's mud water. And I'm sure, if I remember right, 1,000 in the free play game. So they have dropped the, the travel expenses quite a bit. Let's go into a private room here. Okay, enjoy exploring a mud water river and its premises premises for a certain number of days to complete this challenge as i said before i'm sure it's one five and 30. okay with a 7 a.m so we have to just go forward an hour okay great you're on the banks of model river armed to the bone and fully prepared catching a local fish okay straight retrieve now this is Ooh, it's going to show you all the retrieve techniques for the spin fishing. So you've got the, <coughs> the straight retrieve, you've got the stop and go. And uh, let's close that. Stand over here, the lift and drop. Okay, now where we're going to aim? Over there, right down past the reeds. Okay, hold the left mouse button and shift to reel in faster. Reel in with maximum speed. There we go. Now back out again. Now we're going to have to perform a straight retrieve this time. 
Creeps are generally used to make the lure. I missed that. <laughs> okay, use L and K to set the reeling speed to speed two. But if you've got a mouse, just use your, your scroll wheel and we want it set at two. Okay, reel in at speed two to form the straight retrieve. Now we need to catch fish. Come on. Yeah, tutorial's pretty good if you've just started this game up. Just to get used to the mechanics and things like that, I would suggest going through them. Okay, set the drag to five. Okay, mark the spot of your last catch with a buoy. Okay, so you hit M. Brings your map tool up, or your tablet. Basically, all you do is hit this little plus sign here. It will put a marker where you last caught the fish. And as you see, I've got 20 markers. You can buy more markers as well with them. Um, I'd imagine it's bait coins. I haven't had a look yet. I'll have to have a look at that. Okay, you successfully marked the spot. And what you can do as well, you can type up here what you caught, blah, blah, blah. Uh, time of day. Uh, actually, does it tell you time of day? No, it tells you the morning. Uh, sunny, but you could probably stick wherever you want it up there. Okay, press M to close the map. Oh, I just hit M there because I was showing you what to do. Let's just get rid of that. Okay, let's just let's just put that there. Test. Mark success successfully. Okay, you can um, get rid of them. You can delete them, or you can actually share with your friends. If you hit that, you can share it with your, your friends on Steam who have actually got the game as well. Okay, let's get out of that. Okay, we've got another big coin and we've got a marker boo for the one we just used. Cool. Okay, new mission, new retrieve, stop and go time. Time to learn the stop and go retrieve. It imitates the movement of a small fish through the water current and drives predators crazy. It's probably the best retrieve method in the, method in the game, to be honest. Read the hints that will appear as you practice mastering this new retrieve. Head over to the Mudwater River for a few days and catch some fish using this retrieve. Okay, let's go. Again, right mouse button, brings your aiming up. Left mouse button, and then hit it when it gets in the middle. Okay, reel in for one second and make a one second pause, rip, and then repeat. Okay, got one. Oh, I didn't look at the, the tension there. That was pretty high. That's not too bad. Going right up to the top. Okay. A young, a large mouth of bass. 84 cash and 8 XP. Okay, now what? Okay, new retrieve. Well, looks like you're a natural born angler. Now you successfully mastered a more complex retrieve. That will help you land more and a bigger fish. I think that might be it for the tutorial. Let's have a look. Yep, there you go. That's the tutorial finished. So what we're going to do, we're probably going to finish it up there. I'll probably play some more. I'll get some more levels up. And we'll probably come in about a different lake and things like that. So again, as I, as I went through it, as I said to you, for me, the reason I bought it as I was pissed off with the free-to-play model, I was pissed off with the licenses, the travel, uh, the prices and that as well. Even though I had enough money, it's still annoying that I had to fish for a day a full day just to recoup my travel expenses my bait expenses and the license expenses so basically you had to fish for a couple of hours just to recoup what you had in this game they've revamped all that they've revamped let's have a little look actually let's see what these packs are so here you go here's the um these are all the dlcs apparently it was 35 dlcs included in the game Let's have a look at this. Uh, there you go. That's the Salmon Monster pack. I've already got that. That's the Gars and Glory. So there's actually three packs to each one of these. So that's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Ah, uh, these ones haven't. Uh, that's the ones I picked up with the um, <clears throat> the pre-order. But as you see, you see here, you've got three packs here as well. That's only 1,200 uh, bait coins. Once you start getting, I mean, you're not probably going to use these until you get a bit of a higher level anyway. So once you start getting up to the things like Michigan and all that, uh, I'm sure I've watched KP Shimino, you're talking 
30 40 bait coins per unique so it's not going to take that long to kind of grind out for these i think it's going to be quite fun actually so as again as i said guys uh, if you're new to the game i would probably go play the the free to play version just to get used to mechanics have a look at it have a look at the physics see how it runs on your computer if you like it then i would buy this version it takes out all the crap microtransactions in the game it takes out all the crap economy the price of the baits that's what that's what i wanted to look at let's have a quick look at let's have a look at the fresh baits okay why is it not showing ah that's why because i'm let me leave here i want to have a quick look at the large minerals in that because if i remember in the free play game it's 950 for the large minerals let's see if they've dropped these any China 650 large no large minerals exact same yeah 950 for five so they haven't dropped the prices on them they haven't dropped the prices on the baits the baits all look the exact same to be honest because you can buy them for 950 here in the main map area shop but if you go uh, like one of the waterways it's going to cost you over a thousand for the same thing so just be aware of that as well so again I just wanted to give that a quick check there it will be up to here, run 108,899. How the hell have I got much? I must have got money from the bait packs as well. I'm actually, I've got quite a lot of money. <laughs> so I, get, I keep getting sidetracked with um, things that I'm looking at here. Sport, what the hell is this? Oh, that's all your competitions. So again, guys, uh, don't forget what I said. Uh, play the free to play version first. See if you like it. And then I would actually buy this. It's only 30, 34.99 pounds here in the uk 35 quid so what's that about 40 dollars i think it's going to be worth it because it's a game that i've been playing for years and it's a game that i keep coming back to as i said i've got i'm level 50 i think it's 18 or 20 prestige level after level 50 i've got i've got 1.5 million 1.6 million cash i've got pff, a thousand over a thousand bait coins as well on my free to play account but I wanted to get away from the microtransaction and and i also bought maybe 15 16 ooh, dlcs so i probably spent a couple of hundred quid on that game you know but i bought the paid to play version the full version as you would say because i've added all the dlcs and all that in with it as well as you see there's nothing up here that says um microtransactions hopefully they're going to stick to it they said they're not going to bring microtransactions in it and you can also um bait coins as well i could do you know what i mean do myself a load of bait coins let's close that uh, anything else services you get store expansion template slots marker buoys and recipes that's all your licenses there let's have a look ah eight thousand see that's only going to cost me eight thousand cash to get the advanced license for willow willow lakes and it costs what eight thousand a day i think it is eight thousand a day 24 hours in the free play game so again guys uh, i'm gonna have to cut it there so again thanks for watching it's just a little run through the tutorial i will play more i will do more videos on it i just wanted to give you my kind of reaction on it and see what you guys think i think i'm gonna enjoy it and as i said i've been playing fishing planet for quite a while now so there you go again thanks for watching and i'll catch us again next time